That's so good. Oh. What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. As you saw by the title, today we are doing a full day of eating in quarantine. I do eat a lot of the same things every day. I'm forewarning you that if you've seen my other full day of eating videos, you might recognize some of the dishes, but I just wanted it to be an accurate representation of what I eat every day. This is not the most accurate representation of how I look every day, especially in quarantine, but I kind of wanted to put on my game face. I'm filming today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some glam. And I always try to do something kind of light and then I end up with a full-blown smoky eye. But most days, most of the time, I actually look like this. Or I look like this because I'm doing an Instagram story and I'm just showing you guys what I'm looking like. But after my workout, it's back to this. So just keep that in mind that I'm not normally this glam just to be at home all day. So it's now like 12.30 in the afternoon and that's usually when I get hungry on a regular basis. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy. I need to put this down. I have mentioned this before, but I just have no appetite in the morning, especially like these past few months. When I first went all in, I was very hungry in the morning and I ate in the morning, but as of late, like I have no appetite in the morning. So I eat around noon, 12.30, and then I'll typically train after that. So let's get into the first thing I'm gonna make. So you guys already know what I eat every single day. I still eat this every single day. It's been almost a year now that I've been eating it. It's my OG cake pop protein oatmeal. I eat it every day, I love it. I try not to show it too much, but this is genuinely what I eat every day. I have an eyeballed amount of oats. This is like a cup of oats. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I just eyeball the amount of boiling water that I add. And I add enough that it's going to have somewhat of a liquidy consistency because I wanna be able to add the protein powder and it doesn't get too like dry. So I'm gonna give the oats a minute or two just to cook up with the hot water. So after the oats are cooked enough, I do add one scoop of the cake pop protein. I have been on PE Science about making this into a vegan flavor. Trust me, I've put in the request. So you guys will be the first to know if they make it. It tastes like cake batter. Now I'm just gonna cut up a banana. I love banana in my oats. So I also love adding cereal to my oatmeal. I don't know, something about adding a little extra crunch is just the best. I'm also gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. So unless you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably haven't seen my new dining room. And shout out to Jeff because those flowers are from Jeff. They make me so happy and they, they, they go with my lemons. These chairs are from World Market and then the table is from CB2 and I'm obsessed. I love it. Oh, my cup matches my shirt. Look at that. And the reason I think I've been able to eat it every day, aside from the fact that I just love it, is that I always change the toppings, so it's always like a little bit different. And while in quarantine, I'm sure you guys know this, but finding some protein is not always easy at the grocery store right now, so this is just a staple for me because everything else is so hard to find. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then after that, I'm gonna do a workout. It's the best. If I have food in my teeth, I'm sorry. I'm about to jump into a lower body workout. If you are here only for the food, I'll totally understand if you wanna skip the workout, but I'm gonna be doing a lower body workout from my newest at home program. So I'm gonna get dressed into workout clothes and I'll see you in a minute. So I just finished up a really quick warm up. I just did some body weight walking lunges and then I did some dynamic stretching like I always do. I do the same thing in all my videos. We're gonna jump into the first exercise, which is an RDL. If you have a barbell and weights, you can do a barbell, normal Romanian deadlift. For this video, I'm gonna use dumbbells because I know most people just don't have a barbell with plates at their house. So we're gonna do dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So I don't have heavy enough dumbbells for my hamstrings. I ordered some, they're on the way. Um, shipping is really slow right now, which is understandable. If your weights aren't heavy enough for you, like the weights you normally use in the gym, consider really, really, really slowing down the eccentric because that's gonna make the exercise significantly harder with the same amount of weight. So in the event that you don't have any weight or dumbbells around your house, but you do have some bands, I'm gonna show you how you can do an RDL with a band. Um, ideally a pretty heavy band, so it, actually feels like some resistance, but I'll show you how to set that up.
So the next thing that we're gonna be doing after RDLs, we're gonna be doing goblet squats. And you can either use like a kettlebell or like a gallon of water, or you can use a dumbbell if you have it. A lot of people struggle to feel their glutes on this one. So I usually tell people to make sure that you have a sumo stance and that you drive through your heels and then squeeze your glutes at the top as you're contracting. Another trick you can use is to use a band around your knees if you're not feeling it in your glutes. If you have a band around your knees, you're gonna be actively performing hip abduction. So you're gonna be pushing your knees against the band, which really gets your glutes engaged as you do the squat. So give that a try. Okay, so next up we have single leg hip thrusts, and I'm sure you guys have seen me do this a million times before, so I'm gonna use this couch to do them because this couch is a lot more firm. The other one is, like, it's so squishy that I just, like, sank right into it. I feel like people really underestimate how hard those are maybe because I've gained weight and like my bot any body weight exercises are a little bit harder than they used to be, but those are hard. If you're doing it right and you're really driving through your heel and you're squeezing at the top, those are hard. So next up we're gonna do some calves. I feel like calves are gonna be easily neglected, especially if you're doing some at-home training. It's easy to just be like, oh, forget calves. But calves are so easy to train at home that you might as well complete the physique, do everything, and hit your calves. The easiest way to do them is to just do standing calves, but hold weight. If you have a step in your house anywhere that would make it a little bit better, it would give you more of a stretch. So if you do have a step in your house, I recommend doing it that way. Okay, next up we're gonna be doing weighted frog pumps. So you're just gonna put a weight on your hips and do frog pumps as normal. If you don't know how to do frog pumps, you basically face your feet each other and then drive up with your glutes with the side of your feet. A lot of people do struggle with really feeling their glutes on this one. So for those people, I recommend just really trying to engage your glutes without any weight. Like, don't get ahead of yourself and add weight right away because you might start feeling it in like different parts of your legs as opposed to your glutes. So really nail down how you need to situate your body so you feel it in your glutes first with no weight and then add weight. So last but not least, we are going to hit some abs. So we're gonna do a few sets of bicycle crunches. And if you're the type of person that if abs are at the end of your workout and you always feel like skipping them, I recommend just knocking them out first then because you don't wanna neglect them, you don't wanna forget them, or you don't wanna skip them. Okay, so the workout doesn't end here because I actually do a workout with my mom about three to four times a week. She has to stay in her room, so she's really not moving much, so it doesn't make me feel very good that she's not getting a lot of exercise. So it's a time for us to kind of bond and she gets in a little exercise at the same time. Hi, you too. Oh, mommy, what are we about to do? Exercise. We're gonna exercise. You ready? Okay, ready. March, good, one, two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> So I, I, ha I have it, the camera going. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so I made my mom say hi. It's like I'm using everybody for clout on YouTube. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the delay. Jeff called me while I was like getting dressed. So we had a little chat and I just got cleaned up after the workout and I'm dressed and, and <laughs> finally gonna eat my post-workout meal. So this won't take long to prepare because it's just leftovers. I made this dish yesterday and I filmed myself making it so I could show you guys how I made it. I'm just going to heat it up. I needed white rice for this. I actually made some white rice while I was doing the workout with my mom. I just had it simmering in the background. Don't come for me because it's minute rice. These are dark times right now. It's the best I can do. So I know that this does not look very pretty, but it's absolutely delicious. So I wanna tell you how I made it. I kinda of had to improvise. I basically just used what I had. So I did have a can of Prick King curry paste, which I like to put on like everything. So I used the whole can of that. I used a tablespoon of roasted red chili paste and I used two tablespoons or just like a big scoop of peanut butter to give it like a peanutty taste. And then I put in some coconut oil to heat up the pan. And then I mixed all of those together and it made like a 
paste. And then after the paste came together, I added the shrimp and then I added the broccoli and mixed it all up and that was it. It's really simple, really easy to make and this looks delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. This is bringing me back to my cheat days. It is an art to get the camera to focus on food. That's all I gotta say. So it's like 7.30 at night, so I'm feeling kind of hungry. I'm ready for my next meal. I am just throwing together everything that I currently have. So I was thinking that I could make like a bowl of some sort. I should take these clips out of my hair. I put these in my hair because sometimes it's really annoying to have my hair in my face. I have some cooked vegetables, some sweet potatoes. I always have sweet potatoes cooked and as soon as I'm running low, I will just cook some more. I always have, I don't know, I love sweet potatoes. You probably already know that. Some spring mix, avocado, I always have avocados and some leftover salmon. Gonna cook this up. So I wanna preheat the oven, then I will show you what happens. So a bit of a change of plans. So while I was seasoning the salmon, it really didn't smell right. Not in the mood to get some food poisoning. So I did decide to throw in other fish that I had in my freezer that I was saving for a different night. And um, I'm gonna cook that instead, which is fine. I wasn't trying to like pre-plan anything. I just was going to make and cook whatever I had to be like, you know, like a really realistic full day of eating. We're gonna go to plan B. I hope you don't mind. It'll be all right. So we have one sweet potato, orange roughy, this is our plan B. There is half an avocado, some spring mix, chopped vegetables, and sun-dried tomatoes. And then I topped it with liquid aminos and some black pepper. So I think I'm gonna take this over to the couch, watch something, and eat this. That's it. So, for dessert, I wanna have one of these banana nut muffins that my sister made for me. Now, before you come for me, my sister brought these over to me wearing gloves and a mask and she made them like two days ago. I haven't touched them, so I think they're fine. And she's not sick, by the way. We have just been completely keeping our distance from each other. And I feel bad. She made me these and I like haven't even tried them yet because I told her that I was gonna have them sit in my fridge for a little bit, so. And she made them from scratch. And I'm gonna pop it in the microwave and I'm gonna put some ice cream on it. And for the ice cream, I'm gonna do this so delicious peanut butter swirl because I think that banana nut and peanut butter would be really good together. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God. I think there's like walnuts in it. So there's big chunks of walnuts. Ow, that's hot. I've tried a few of the So Delicious dairy-free ice creams before, but I've never tried this one. Peanut butter and banana usually taste really good together. This is what it looks like. Looks delicious. Mmm, that's good. So I know this seems really small, but honestly, my appetite was pretty low today. It happens, like, I can't predict when my appetite is gonna be high or low. Some days it's higher than others, and um, yeah, it wasn't too high today. That's so good, wow. But at night sometimes I'll have like a bowl of fruit after I have dinner, or I just have like a bowl of cereal, but I wanted to have one of these muffins.
Honestly, for me, like I feel so good. Like at the end of the night, every night, I never feel overly full. I used to get like so bloated that I would have like this giant belly, like this giant food baby every night because I felt like I could never eat enough food. Now, I feel like I have very normal hunger signals. When I'm hungry, I eat and when I'm full, I stop. And then I just wanted something little for dessert and it was honestly like perfect. I feel great. I feel really good. I don't feel like I need to keep eating. I have no desire to eat anything more. It's been a life-changing experience to know what this feels like, but ever since I started feeling it, like every day is just such a joy that I don't live my life hungry all the time. Because this feeling to me is still so new, I'm grateful every single day. I'm just really happy with the progress that I've made. So I'm going to do a more thorough all-in update, I think in my next video, but that's gonna conclude this video. I really hope that you liked it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like full day of eating videos. Subscribe if you happen to be new and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. <laughs> Hoping it's gone away Never comes the day when I lose you